Oh, I'm on to the next part of my Infinite Space Let's Play. Though this part may be on the short side, I'm not sure. Because there's not too much of Chapter 5 left. Oh yeah, I gotta go up here first. It's too bad you just can't click on where you want to go, right? Bought ships. That should be fine. <laughs> here they come, Yuri. Bestie's defense guard, huh? You look like Nova Nacia ships, and I see a carrier too. I don't estimate them, we're done for. Got it. All hands prepare for an anti ship, anti air battle. Watch out for enemy fighters. They might have called for reinforcements. We had better keep moving. Yeah, I know. Let's head out. Capital plan of species. Hmm? Somebody has invaded my territory? And what are you waiting for, Admiral Belko? Send a complaint to whatever nation they belong to at once. They appear to be private citizens, I'm afraid. To be on the safe side, I'm asking for your permission to dispatch the Spestes fleet. What? And leave my personal guard short-handed? But sir... Alright, how about we do this then? I'll let the defense guard know they're here. Tell them to be on their toes. Roll on now, off you go. Yes, Lord Cadmus. He's an idiot. Cadmus, not, not, his, front, not his security person all there. Now, oh, Captain, here you are. Wearing a great expression, comes into the tavern, apparently searching for Yuri. What's the matter, Dr. Kushin? I took a tour of the neighborhood and found out there are some very serious diseases going around here. I think you'll think the Fuel Lord's dealings have driven the price of medicine up so high people can't afford to buy it. Captain, can we possibly donate some of our ship's medical supplies to the people here? About 500 G or so worth. Fine. Okay, sure, I'll make the arrangements. Oh, thank you. I'll make another round and provide as much care as I can. You'll be sure to come, ba come back before it's time to ship out. <laughs> Rush is out of the tavern in a hurry. You paid 500 you? Fame went up by 100. Yay! I think I got it for here, so... You really ran out right before my very eyes, kiddo. Thanks to you, Nia. Me, I haven't done a thing. I gotta say, though, I can't wait to see how you're gonna turn out. I guess we both have to just wait and see. Hmm, nothing else to really do here. Yeah, there's a battle going on ahead, huh? Are they fighting pirates or something? Our ring, one ring is being is huge. She's no ordinary pirate. All right, let's get close enough to get a visual. <laughs> Ugh, sorry about that. That one guy again. Valentin's corsair. What the gruss is he doing here? Never mind that man. Look who he's fighting. He looks familiar. 
Oh, let's see. That's the guy that was asking for it from Selena back in Calamos. Remember him now? Now he's trying to pick a fight with Valentin? What, is he crazy? What should we do? He's going to get crushed. Maybe we can at least help him get away. Alright, all guns. Get ready to fire. Target the course there. Just a warning volley. Yuri, the Corsair is starting to pull back. Probably just tired of his game, that's all. We didn't think our lucky stars he decided to be nice. I guess you're right. Huh, communication? Hey, what's the big idea getting in my way like that? Oh, it's you guys again! Yuri, Captain of the Raptor. That was pretty reckless of you to try and take a Han Valentine with that one little ship. Huh, what the gruss did you know about it anyway? Are you gonna try and tell me you fought him before? I have fought before. Just like you, I didn't stand a chance against him. Just don't get in my way next time. Hey, wait a minute. He cut us off. He's got a pretty competitive spirit. Picks crazy fights, reminds me of anyone we know. No, who? Now, who could I be thinking about? Jeez. <laughs> Huh, you? Are you? You're the guy that's getting your ship remodeled by Valentin. Hey, what do you mean? I was just starting to get a handle on him. Besides, you guys got in my way. I would have had him, you know. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Hey, you're getting slammed pretty hard. I'm glad to see you're still in one piece. That's right, I'm not like your average Joe, you know. I'm tough. And maybe, yeah, I let Valentin get away this time, but I know where to find him, so don't you worry about a thing. He won't get away so easily next time. You don't learn, do you? Anyway, whatever. Hey, White Top. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Me? See anybody else with white hair here? So you're the captain, huh? Yeah, I'm Yuri, captain of the Raptor. Nice to meet you. You're on my age, aren't you? But you're pretty damn good. I'm CEO. CEO of the Rodinos. You should have been minding your own business back there, but you know, thanks for stepping in when you did. So, CEO, what's your deal anyway? How come you're always picking fights with the big guns like Selena and Valentin? That's right, if you want to fight, why not try something more your own size? I've got to build up my reputation fast. I don't got time to be fooling around. Besides, where's the fun fighting weaklings? You shouldn't be too reckless either, you know? You could get hurt or worse. Ciao. Uh, yeah, I think that's what it was. I don't know. Yeah, blushes. Oh, she says his name. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Well, that's a good point, uh, Kira. Hmm? Well, well. What? So, what you guys doing way out here? Especially it's a pretty rough neighborhood. Well... You're gonna go up against Cadmus? You idiot! Hey, keep it down! I'm oh, sorry. Are you guys serious? I'm dead serious. If we don't do this now, a war could break out. Hmm. You know what? I like it. Count me in. Are you serious? Hey, I'm always serious. Dead serious. Haha, <laughs> besides, I like the idea of going up against the whole fleet of a nation. But, listen here, I think you should definitely take him up on his offer. Do you have an idea, Ian? In fact, I do. You know where to find Valentin, is that right? Yep, my... This is equipped with a special radar. It told me he headed to the... Sardis Asteroid Belt. It's probably gonna hang out there for a while, I figure. Hmm. I've got it, Yuri. Yeah, what have you got? And that's my plan. It's extremely risky, but if it goes well... We can cut down the species forces with quite dramatically. Are you okay with your end of the plan? Sure. I mean, it's not the most glamorous role, but damn, I ain't looking to be no movie star. So yeah, I'll do it. I'm off then. 
Okay, now the rest of us, we head to Cadmus's blockade, right? That's right. And we put the plan in motion as soon as we arrive. Ugh. advanced but with really low health. Mm -hmm. Discovered a resource asteroid. We get 1000 G. Not really ours. The surrounding dust affects our light and initial light. From Earth, the same amount can be observed in M. What about whatever I can get that smoke? Lucas, is that you, Lucas Barbaris? Noticing Lucas Barbaris standing behind here, the Zero G Dog. It's just to be a broad smile on his weathered face. Hey, Comus, is that you? You remembered me? You saved my life on that mine, Dodekins, and I'll never forget you for it. What are you doing here, you old devil? Well, here's the story. So you're on a ship now, eh, Lucas? But a zero-G dog at your age? Aren't you having a rough time of it? I've been hanging in there. Hey, why don't I give you a few pointers? After all, I really owe you. You do that. Of course, now what do you want to know about? Let's see, I guess I'm having the most trouble with... Oh, I forget where I put him. I'll say shit management. Yeah, I know, just uh, sit back and listen up. I guess that's about it. You're fine, che teacher Comus. That was real clear and easy to understand. And I think that's all I can do here, too. Uh, I guess we could... Find some other remodel our ships later, because we should have enough strength right now. Okay, now we want to head for the blockade. Here's their head. I see 50, no, 70 ships. Whew, that's a lot. It's about how many I expect. They're defending all of Spestes, you know. Now you run down the plan again. Uh, our aim is to lure out the Spestes fleet and draw it to the Kilke sector. You can as much as the fleet as possible. Stick strictly to defense. Don't take down any of them, do you hear me? All right, I've got it. Yeah, no, it's us. A few ships are heading our way. Okay, all hands to your stations. Rules to lure the enemy. Do not take down any of the enemy ships. Stick to defense only.
Somebody's taunting my fleet, you say? Yeah, I know, it's just a few ships, but... I believe they're the ones who defeated the border guards. I ordered Task Force 4 out to counter them. But so far, they haven't attacked, my lord. Gross, get Arrow Blink going here. Yes, my lord. Lord Captain, she called for me. Where are you dragging your fleet, Admiral? Sound the entire fleet immediately and crush those intruders. It's too risky, my lord. The enemy is acting suspiciously. Hm. Lord Specius gave you a direct order. Sound the entire Specius fleet now. Yes, my lord. Right here, the rest of the fleet is on the move. I see that. Now we just have to lead them to the Kilkis sector. I thought we get interrupted. Oh, got a few run on our six. Hiss, ask a little brother. Buggers, aren't they? We still can't bring any of them down. We don't want them pushing their guard up before we reach the Kilkis sector. Wasting your time. Or are coming after us more than fifty now. Good, keep heading for the Kilkis sector. We've reached the Kilika sector, the enemy's still in pursuit. Where's you? Did you see him? Now try some grass, we're gonna get penned in. Damn, we got to buy some time until Chow gets here. Can't hang him on, there are too many. Damn it! Somebody's backing us up. Do you read me, Yuri? Oh, that's in Pappas. I'll back you up. Great, but wait a minute. You're a security agency. How can you... I just turned in my resignation. What? I'm a private citizen now, but never mind that. You've got some urgent business to attend to right in front of us. Alright, all hands prepare for an anti-ship battle. No need to lure them anymore. Just shoot them down every everything you see. Everything you got. I think it was a shoot-down everything you see. Finally a normal battle. Begin it. Enemy you test. Enemy. Oh shit. Fighters aren't doing so hot. Uh... 
I guess I did win. Oh, they're they damaged. Got rid of that. Good. Yuri, they're still in hot pursuit. They're coming in droves, man. Any sign of Ch CO Kira? Here he comes! Really? Getting his butt kicked again. CO, haha, <laughs> sorry about the wait, bro. Did you get Valentine to follow you? Yep, I feel just like a Mador. Corsair and the Spessies fleet are now engaging in battle. Good, now's our chance to get out of here. Ensign Pappas, follow us. Roger. Corsair is one crumble battle machine. Says so please, sure, shrinking fast. Whistles. I can't whistle. <laughs> Guys, I want ones who are incredible. What a brilliant plan. He came here to avenge Commander Anavolve on my own, but I sure met up with some fine allies. And thanks to Ian's plan, Spetsy's forces should be stripped down to its almost almost nothing by now. Let's take Camus down and rescue Katia Lenko together. Roger that. Go there yet? We'll go there later. I think it's the dead game. Now we're playing. I'm getting ready on the intruder. Hmm. Good thing we at least left the elite guard behind. What about the pursuit detail? Are they heading back this way? I'm afraid they're not responding, sir. Hmm. I guess they're done for. All right. Send a message to the guards. Tell them to defend the cattle plant at all costs. Here, there's a unit heading this way. Eleven ships. Eleven, huh? Looks like these guys didn't fall for our trick. They've been waiting for us. This ain't gonna be easy. I know. Child, do you read me? Yeah, I hear you. I'll take the ones on the left. Take the ones in the middle, Yuri. Roger, all hands prepare for anti-ship. Let me destroy that ship first. Let me miss out on some recruiting somebody, so we're gonna try to not do that. Great, my fighters aren't ready. I don't want to take out the leash yet. It's hard for it. brought down all our escort vessels, sir. Hmm, I guess it's all over then. What about the rest of our fleet? They're still holding out, sir, but just barely. All right. Or our main troops withdraw. Get the crew off the ship and set it to autopilot. I'll buy some time for their retreat. But, Admiral, do it now! Y y yes, sir. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to canvas the first, and I end up repaying that debt to his idiot son. This hardly seems right, but...
here. They've scattered in all directions. So the battle's over, huh? Let's go in for the survivors. Roger. The entire Swiss fleet has just essentially been wiped out. And it's all thanks to our strategy, Ian. Thank you. Oh yeah, sure, I knew it would work. <laughs> Pretty risky strategy there. Back here, my man. We picked up every last survivor we could. Thanks, Torlo. Found somebody on the bridge of the flagship, too. He might be the captain. The captain of the flagship? Is he okay? I don't know. He's messed up pretty bad. I give it a 50-50 chance whether he'll pull through or not. This brave guy put his own ship out there as a shield and gave his man a chance to escape. Hope we can save him. Yeah, me too. I'll give the medical team the lowdown. Oh look here, there's a dead gate here too. Looks like Mystica's prediction is turning out to be true. I think she was right about. What's that? So you recall, Minda mentioned getting a strong Higgs boson ring in this area recently. Doesn't it stand to reason that maybe because Valentin is here? After all, as you said, he has the epitaph he stole from you. Oh that's right. Her theories are being proven out one by one. This is getting very interesting indeed. Cass has got to be taken down. If he just so happens to have an appetite too, it'd be almost too good to be true. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'll stand by here. If any strategy strugglers come up from behind, I'll take care of them. Great, thanks to you. <laughs> Lord Camus, the intruders are headed this way. Hmm? Where's Belenko? What's the matter with him? We haven't been able to reach him, my lord. In all likelihood, he fell to the enemy. Son of a... Grust! That fool! That's how he repays the after day saved his sorry-ass life. Our forces have been depleted. We can't stand up to them. What do you want to do, my lord? Mm, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I know, I'll run away. Anything in the tavern? No. Let's head to Fort Cadiz. In the throne room, they're attacked by guards. Shoot! Go help! Defeat them! Battle's over. Uh-oh. Fire finds a large group of attractive women milling about. Camus is nowhere to be found. Look like at this, Yuri. Jack of a whole army of beautiful babes. Indeed, uh, they must have been kidnapped and brought here by the first parts. I don't see Katia Linko among them, though. Oh, let's go to the prison. Seize them! The guards attack the party. Shoot! This fight's pretty much over. Yeah. <laughs> Are being held captive in the prison. Uh, they have a lot of crime. Here, why? Bet the property values are really low around here. They're locked up for their political beliefs or their ideas. Not everybody who dares to go against Camus is considered to be a criminal. Sounds like a real coward and despot to me, this Camus guy. Let's spread out and look around. Miss Lingle might be here somewhere. Alright. Hey. Hey. One of the rooms Yuri finds a longer it looks very out of place in this environment. Is Yuri by a chance to Tita Linko? It's alright, who are you? My name is Yuri. I came to get you out of here. You did? I knew it. I knew somebody would come. I knew Grandpa would have me would have me rescued. Store up now, stand back. You're safe now, right this way. Oh, Miss Lenko. Miss, you came to rescue me too? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, thank goodness you're alright. I've been so worried. Are you hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine. Your name was Yuri, right? That's right. Thank you. I'll have to make sure you get paid handsomely for this. You can take me to see my grandfather now. Hey, wait a minute. We still have things we need to do. Take care of them later. I want to go home now. I possibly have to take a bath and change out of this dreadful outfit. 
Look, uh, say so the captain has something very important he needs to do first. That's right, why don't I take you to see your grandfather in my ship? No, I want Captain Yuri to take me now. Come along. No, Yuri, I want to get back as quickly as possible. I'm ever so tired. In fact, could you maybe carry me? No, look, I, Ensign Pappas, she's all yours. <laughs> hey, he ran away. They ain't the type of gal Kai could take a lot off, if you ask me. <laughs> Phew, that was scary. Hey, Yuri, my man. Turtle Island with this single handsome house took her in his ship. He said not to worry and to leave it to him. He did all good. Now we just have to find Cadmus. Here I asked the woman here, and they said that there are Epitaph ruins in the desert to the east. Epitaph ruins, huh? I bet that's where Cadmus ran off to. I agree. Let's go there at once, Yuri. Right. Look, this looks just like the ruins on Miltine. Yuri, there are fresh footprints here. Cast has got to be here, alright. Hey, get back. Stay away from me! We found him. So you're Cadmus, huh? Eek, what do you want? What did I ever do to you? You murdered Commander Avov, that's what you did. Don't tell me you forgot. Avov? He invaded and Thomas Domain, a security agency man. That's why I had to do it. He broke the laws of space. What choice did I have? The laws of space? Eek. What the gross will a spoiled man who never stepped out one threw off his plant? Who stayed holed up there doing whatever the gross he pleased? What would he know about the laws of space? Now by laws of space, I'm gonna take you down. That's a plasmic blade on your belt, isn't it? Draw it now. Eek. No! Come on! My friends aren't going to touch you. You're going to answer to me. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to. No, no, I don't want to, and you can't make me. I'll give you anything you want. I'll give you the whole domain. Just don't hurt me. Shies. I've seen some pathetic men before, but this is ridiculous. Damn. Panflov. Look, Argon, they might have been some dispute men, but at least they weren't spineless. You, why can I have to die at the hands of somebody like you? This is all you deserve. This is all a man like you will ever deserve. Ah! Oh. Uh oh. Huh? What's that? Something big is landing. Ah! Eek! Oh, cross. Here I get back. Ah! Crushed by rubble, I believe. Oh, more users. Oh, is everybody all right? Yeah, Kira's okay too. Good. What about Cadmus? He's underneath that rubble. At least he saved us the trouble of having to bury him. Oh, did I crush that rich little brat, Cadmus? Aw, oh, ain't that a pity? Huh? Yuri, over there. You! Valentin! Hey, kid. How's life been treating you? Starting to grow into quite the rugged young lad, ain't you? Damn, I thought the species fleet would keep him busy for a little while longer. <laughs> I knew about your plan from the get-go, you know. Alex is nice enough to play along with your little kitty games. So where's my thanks, eh? Vexed because you fell for it, huh? Yeah, well, let's see which one of us is going to be more vexed. You want the epitaph, don't you? Well, there it is, right behind me. Huh? Oh, so that's an epitaph, is it? Never thought I'd actually get to see one with my own eyes. Alright, fine. I'll fight you for it again. Now, hold on there. Not so fast, kid. I came here to give this to you. What? Here you go. So he picks up the epitaph behind him and tosses it to Yuri. Huh? Why would you... And whether or not I let you live depends on what happens right now. Ah! Huh? Yeah, come on now. Yuri, no! That, it's changing. Bingo, this is the one. What? Writing? Ha! Ha ha ha! And that would be the Epitaph's true form. 
All right, now, chosen one, tell me what it says. Read the epitaph. Read the inscription on the tombstone. All those who go to space to die. Ah. What the cross is that light? Well, what just happened? <laughs> you did good, kid. The path is open now. The path? You ought to go check to see what happened to the dead gate floating near this planet. <sighs> hey, wait. Yuri, right, forget about that pirate. Let's go examine the dead gate. But, Yuri, right, I agree with him, the professor. We ought to go see what just happened and see what Valentine was talking about. Okay, you're right. Let's go. Hey, Yuri. Clown out there, and I saw the Corsair and then this weird looking light. I don't know exactly, that's what we're going to the dead gate to find out. Oh, what's going on, Yuri? I'll explain later. And some habits, take care of Katil. Then go for me, will ya? Okay, sure thing. Hey, hold up there a minute, Yuri. I'm coming with ya. Yuri, look at the dead gate. Is it reactivated? Right there in front of the gate, there's the Corsair. What were you waiting for us, Valentine? Valentin? Whatever. Do you read me, kid? Nearly open the gate. Where it leads, nobody knows. Think you got the guts to come after me? Entering his ship backwards, huh? Hey, he went through the gate. Damn. You're gonna do your right. just like you said. Nobody knows where that gate goes. It could lead to a black hole, and then we'll all be done for. So I do. Well, if we don't choose to go through the gate, we lose. So we're gonna go through the gate. He's a pretty clever guy. If he thinks it's safe to go through, then it probably is. Sounds like a good argument to me. Ready to take the plunge? Let's do it! Just the varying angle for the gate. We're going in. I guess not. Literally, but yeah, it's like that. No, I don't know where that scream came from or what it means. How does space cry? What in the universe is this place? It sure is creepy. I don't look doesn't look like a black hole though. What do you think, Yuri? I don't know, but don't worry, this ship seems fine. We're gonna be okay. Yuri, Yuri, you read me? Yeah, I'm clear. So, do you have any idea where we are? Nope, not a clue. My chart and navigation functions aren't working either. Chart functions? Is that true, Kira? Oh, he's right. I'm getting any, I'm not getting any positional coordinates at all, huh?
the gate. It's gone. What's going on? <sighs> Tats, what's wrong? Uh, I don't know. My head feels funny all of a sudden. So now you mention I've been feeling odd too. What is going on here? Yes, fluctuation centers like these have been known to exist. They've only been observed from the outside, though, of course. Fluctuation sectors, what are those? Sectors in which all found continuously diffuse and converge in irregular patterns, forever oscillating. Scholars call such sectors found fluctuation sectors, or the flux. The flux? Have you heard of these sectors, Nia? I've only heard rumors from other spacefarers, but they s may sound like pretty dangerous places. Dangerous in what way? Just like Professor Nia said, everything in a sector like this, even life forms like us, it all fluctuates. That means that if we stay here, our very existence will go topsy-turvy, and before we know it, approaching nothingness, it will scatter and become lost in the sector. In other words, we're going to be null and void. So you, so you mean we're going to die? No, it has nothing to do with death. It is we never existed in the universe at all. But, never existed, I'm not afraid to die, but to be, for it to be as if I had never existed at all, that's, that's simply... Ian's right, it's just too awful for words, Professor. Nia, isn't there anything we can do? Hmm. What should I do? Look for Valentin. Okay, I say we look for Valentin. I bet he knows a way out of this sector. But you're right, Kira. Can you track the Corsair's path? Check the inflation's left behind, so yes, I think I can. Damn, where's that Corsair? This trail continues on from here. Care any sign of the Corsair yet? Its trail's getting clearer. I think it must be nearby. Your head is starting to feel really fuzzy. Yes, me too. Are we gonna really disappear? Damn it! There he is, Kira, open up a line. Roger. Feeling a little panky there, kid? Looks like you're catching on to just what kind of place the flux really is. But if you stay here, you're going to disappear too. What are you going to do? What do you any good if I told you? It's not like you could copy me. Ha ha ha. Okay, I got wrong, but let me leave you with a little piece of advice. Whether you get out of here or not depends on what's in your heart. My heart, what do you mean by that? Figure it out. <laughs> So are you just gonna disappear, not even turn the dark matter? Or are you gonna... You already looked at the Corsair. What's it doing? He's got his own personal game. Ha 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 ha! I don't know how much power that requires. No way, it warped all on its own without even using a void gate? Did you see that, N Nia? What's happening to everybody? Nia! Toril, Ian, Titania! Yuri, this is really freaky. K Kira? No! They're, we're disappearing. This can't be happening. No one will even know we ever existed. No, no, no! Still alive.
Wake up, Yuri. Ugh. There, you're finally awake. Kira's asleep too. Do you have to do everything together? I know you're tired, Kira, but your shift's not over yet, you know? Huh? Where are we? Turning this chart, this is the Irvis sector. You know there's a gate here from Spestes, eh? The Irvis sector? It's just discovered recently. The charts aren't, aren't even complete yet from the looks of it. There's supposed to be lots of inhabitable planets in this sector, too. Kaz and Oats are racing each other to check out the area. Sorry, Yuri. Don't you feel well? I guess I better set a course. And no, no one else remembers what happened. And I guess we'll do some stuff in this. Chapter 6 first, because we got can't save yet. Here, right, there's a large fleet ahead. A fleet? Boring spilling ship. This is the Conus Collector's probe expedition. Sarah's discovered by the nation of Kamos. We're in all rights. We're prepared to use military force if needed to be against any intruder. You must turn back immediately. Repeat, turn back immediately. It looks like we got here just at the wrong time. Plus, I know Sarah right in the middle of it. What do you want to do, Yuri? I guess it doesn't make sense to try it with the whole army right now. We should probably turn back. Patches Nebula. Young planetary nebula with a nucleus of a central star, rapidly the white dwarf, and whatever. Mm -hmm. Alright, dear. Until, uh, and Abans too. They're your favorites, right? Yeah, thanks. Do you mind if I sit next to you? Sure, go ahead. What's the matter, huh? You look so serious. Oh well, Kira, do you remember what happened in that Fama fluctuation sector? Yes, I was so scared I thought you and everybody else was going to disappear. I didn't know what to do. Sarah too, do you? Huh, of course I do. Why do you ask? I went around and asked everybody. Asked them about that flux sector, but they all said they didn't remember it. They did say they remembered up to the point about the upsets being activated. They all said that after that we just warped from the Spectre sector to this one. I checked navigation records and charts too, but there's nothing in them anywhere about the fl at Flux sector. I just don't understand any of it, and now the crust did we manage to get out of the Flux anyway? Or did it ever even really exist to begin with? Or I feel like I was just all in my head. Like I'm going crazy or something. It's freaking me out. Oh, Yuri. Remember it happening then? To you, it really did happen. People can only see what they themselves believe to exist. Kira, thanks. Here, your head is, hand is so cold. I think that'll be it for now. About 50 minutes in. Still can't modify my ships here, though, huh? Uh, whatever. Oh, now it's glitching up on the save screen again. There we go. Now I'll probably have to turn this into an MP4, then convert it, but yeah. Now we've learned more about the powers of epitaphs, right? They can make entire sectors just appear out of nowhere. Though they'll really explain the origins of epitaphs and flux sectors and all that later. Much, much later in the near the end of the second part when Yuri is a man. Because there's a time skip in this game that's coming up soon. Oh well, we'll get to that next, I guess. Well not next. I still gotta go through chapter 6 and 7 before we get to that. Well, see you guys next time.